let me share my experience with you. Few years ago, while I was in Kaduna State, there is a road called Constitutional Road, not far from Amadu Bello Stadium. There's an area called Kigo Road. I met a woman together with her kids sitting close to River Kaduna. The river demarcating Baranawa from Kigo Road. Then I asked her, why are you here? And she said, they have no home. Fast forward before the coronavirus lockdown. I saw this woman at Challenge Ibadan begging for harms. With surprise and excitement, I was happy to see her. But I noticed she's just with one child and not the three. And I asked, what about the others? And she replied, they are dead. With bitterness in my heart, and I asked, what killed them? And she replied, hunger. Please, a quick break. You see, those of you that can afford three square meals, eat what you want and when you like, permit me to say you are wealthy. Now I'm bouncing back to the government, but please allow me to just oppose them with metaphors and analogy of literature. That our government gives us sickness and later heal us, starve us and later feed us. They kill our young ones and offer us money for burial. Please, I hope you understand the psychological background of the metaphor that I'm painting. Before the corona, people die of hunger and sickness. And with the current ugly situation, lots of Nigerian citizens are crying of hunger. And what we can get from our government is one cup of rice and one cup of beans for five houses. Millions of families are placed under lockdowns in different parts of Nigeria. Poor families are worried. The fear is the fear of hunger and not the fear of virus. Allow me to address this. You see, God bless those who donated millions and billions of Naira to this current issue. But I hope you know that there are other channels to get to people and not always through the government. If you want to give to the poor, give directly to the poor and not the government. Look at Koku Foundation, look at other charitable organizations using a sympathetic insider perspective and an ideological frame of reference. These people eat our money. Now, the office has the bombs.